Hi friends, I am Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. Today we will understand what is graph theory. Here we will see the basics of graph theory. So let's now first understand the definition of graph. Okay. So what is a graph? A linear graph or simply a graph is a collection of nodes and branches. The graph shows the geometrical interconnection of the elements of a network. Let me explain you it with the help of a graph. So this is a network and this is these are the two graphs. This is the undirected graph and this one is the directed or oriented graph. We will see all these terms what we mean by a graph and uh, later I will explain you all the concepts of this network and the graphs. So first let's understand the definition that I just described just mentioned here uh, what is a graph with the help of this uh, network so i told you that a graph or a linear graph is a collection of nodes and branches as you can see this is a network and we have drawn graphs for this network this is that undirected graph undirected means we have not shown any directions or the orientations in this graph as you can see these are the directions shown in the network so these are not shown here so it is undirected and this one is the directed as the directions are mentioned here so this is a network it is a collection graph is a collection of nodes and branches so what are branches as you can see here that this branch branch number six okay branch number six is just a simple line so we represent the components by simple lines by straight lines or uh, curved lines and uh, these are called the branches and what are nodes nodes are the when two or more branches meet at a place then we call it a node here you can see at this place one two three and four branches this branch number two six four and three meet so this b is a node number b node b so you now understand what is a graph and what are nodes and branches okay so graph is a simply a representation or geometrical interconnection of the elements of a network so all these elements of this network are represented with the help of this graph so we call a graph as connected graph if uh, only if and only if there is a path directly or indirectly between every pair of nodes we have a b c d e these are the five nodes and total seven branches in this uh, graph these are the nodes as if you see how can we represent this uh, network as a graph either directed or indirected so you see here that uh, every component if there is a node these these are the two nodes and we take these two nodes and connect this with a branch okay with a branch so between a and b we have drawn a branch okay and between b and c these are the two nodes b and c so we have a branch number four and between b and d you can see there is an element we represent these components by branches okay and where two or more branches meet is called a node so between b and d you can see we have one component so we represent this with the help of this branch and one more important thing that uh, here we replace the voltage and current sources by ideal voltage and current source it means we short circuit the uh, voltage source and open circuit the current source so you can see here that uh, we have short circuited it between a and e and all these uh, branches are uh, meeting at point e so we have converge them at a node e and if we represent them with the orientations okay as you can see these are the orientations uh, for the currents you can say these are the currents and uh, if we represent them if we mention them in the graph then it is a directed or oriented graph okay as you can see here uh, branch number one is having upward so it is upward here it is rightwards number branch two so it is in rightward direction arrow so this is the same oriented graph as as we have seen in the network the same orientations are used here now we will see what we mean by a connected graph 
we call a graph as connected if and only if there is a path directly or indirectly between every pair of nodes it means that uh, here we have a b c d and e nodes and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 as seven branches and if there is a path between every pair of nodes at least one path you can see that uh, between node a and b there is a we can reach from node a to b uh, through this this path through this branch b and also from uh, through the branch number one and three so these are the two paths available for this also we can reach here uh, through another uh, paths uh, longer paths like one seven and uh, passing through five and uh, four and also one seven and then six so there are multiple paths but if there exists at least one path either directly this is the directly and these are other paths are indirect paths to reach from node a to node b then this is known as a connected graph so these are the examples of connected graph and uh, orientations are shown then based on orientations we have two types undirected and directed so this is directed and this is undirected graph now let's understand what we mean by planar and non-planar graphs there are two kinds of graphs planar and non-planar so planar graphs are the graphs that can be drawn on a sheet of paper without crossing lines if it is not the case then we will call it as non-planar graph it is very simple uh, to understand that the, here we have uh, both kinds of graphs shown this one is the planar graph and here is the here is a non-planar graph as by the definition we know that if we can draw a graph on a sheet of paper without crossing lines here, here we have few nodes these are the nodes and these are the branches these straight lines are the branches of the graph and these are the nodes and if we can make this graph this is the graph by without crossing the lines here you can see that no lines are crossed okay unlike this one here we are crossing the lines so this one is a planar graph we have drawn it on a sheet of paper without crossing of any lines no line is crossing here but if you see here then you will see that this is the non planar graph because it is having crossed lines because this line this branch here to here is being crossed by this line we represent them like this so it is not possible to draw these non planar graphs on a sheet of paper without crossing of the lines in the next video we will see more videos on the graph theory so keep watching my channel engineering made easy and don't forget to subscribe my channel and like the video thanks for watching bye bye friends for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can uh, visit my blog see you soon in the next video till then bye bye